So in the last video we left off having learned what a C program looks like, how to compile a C program and uh, how to get set up and running with your C compiler. So in this video we're going to be learning about data types. So if you remember back to the last video I said that programs written in C are generally a lot faster than programs written in Python for example. One of the reasons for this is that C compiles to machine code but another reason is that C is statically typed. So what I mean by statically typed is whenever I create a variable or I use any sort of data in C, I have to tell C what type of data I'm using. Whereas in Python, since it's dynamically typed, at the Python can automatically work out what kind of data I'm using at runtime. There's advantages and disadvantages to both, but the uh, main one is that because C is statically typed, it has less work to do during the runtime, so it's a lot faster. But Python, since it's dynamically typed, uh, has a lot more work to do at the runtime, so it's generally slower. So because C is statically typed, it has different keywords to create uh, different data types. So C has six primitive data types. It has int, actually it has a char, it has int, it has short, it has long, double, and it has float. So these are the six uh, primitive data types in C. So you're probably wondering, what's the difference between each data type in C? The difference between the data types is partially to do with the way the terminal will uh, handle them. For example, if I output an integer, the terminal will format that as a number. If I output a char, the terminal will output it as a character on the screen. One of the differences is that uh, each of the data types are not the same size. For example, a char is only one byte in size, whereas um, a double is eight bytes. And what that means is whenever you create a char, you allocate one byte of memory to store that char. And whenever you create a double, you allocate eight bytes to store the double. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the size of each of the individual data types on my computer. So there we have it here. We have a print statement that prints the uh, size of each data type using the size of function. The size of function is built in function in C that takes the data type as the parameter. And the way we're formatting it is we're using the percent %LU because size of doesn't return a number. It returns its own special data type that we format as a number. So if I run this, if I say gcc learn.c and I say a.out, you see we got int equals 4, short equals 2, float equals 4, double equals 8, long equals 8, char equals 1. So what this means is if I create an integer on my computer, it will store, it will allocate 4 bytes of memory to store that integer. The same as if I create a short, it will allocate two bytes. If I create a float, it will allocate four, a double of eight, a long eight, and a char one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Python to show you the amount of different values you can store in each of the data types. So if I print two to the power of 32. So the reason I'm doing two to the power of 32 is because an integer on my computer is four bytes, and four bytes is 32 bits because four times eight is 32 uh, because there's eight bits in one byte. So if I hit enter, you'll see we get 4.2 billion. That means we can store 4.2 billion different numbers in a 32-bit integer. Don't confuse that with meaning we can store between 0 and 4.2 billion. Don't confuse that with meaning we can store between 0 and 4.2 billion uh, numbers in an integer. That's not quite right, but I'll explain more about that in the next video. But just know that you can store 4.2 billion possible uh, numbers in a 32-bit integer. If I do print 2 to the power of 16, we get 65,000. That means in a short, well, we can store 65,000 different uh, numbers. This doesn't mean 65,000 different numbers at once. This means a number up to 65,000. And just in case you're wondering, I don't mean you can store up to 65,000 individual numbers in a, in a short because you would use an array for something like that. A short can store one 16-bit number. That's what it can store. An int can store one 32-bit number. A float can store one 32-bit number. A double can store a 64-bit number. Uh, and a char can store an 8-bit number. That's uh, how it works. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.